Liam, obviously a bit of a tough night. Um, what do you think the offense needs to focus on most this week to get better before Stanford? I think we just need to come in. Um, starting, you know, tomorrow, and then we have a day off tomorrow. Um, come in, get our bodies right, um, do treatment, and then um, it's kind of on to the next one, you know. Uh, it's a tough loss. Stanford, or, uh, Stanford's a good team, and we'll be looking forward to them, but hats off to Oregon. They played, they played their butts off, and um, I thought it was a war in the trenches as well. And it seemed in the trenches that you guys were opening a lot of good space for Dion. Um, how were you guys able to sort of create those gaps on some big hitting plays you had? And what have you seen out of Dion um, coming in for Max? You know, uh, I think a lot of you guys have slept on Dion. You know, that dude's come from Notre Dame, a big time program. Um, and, you know, it's kind of hard to get playing time, you know, and you have another star running back here. Um, but, you know, I think dion has been doing this the whole time he's been here, you know, he just hasn't gotten the reps in the past, I think. Um, but, you know, all, that's all we try to do every day, every practice, every game, just open the holes as much as we can, play our butts off, um, go from whistle to whistle and play smart. Um, because, you know, playing offensive line is a, a selfless position. At the end of the day, you're not going to get, you know, the glory that everyone else gets. But, um you got to be selfless and, you know, help out the team. And, um, you know, up front, I think we did a, a, a decent job tonight. Um, I thought, you know, there's some things that we can fix coming Monday um, to clean up, but um, I think we'll be ready to attack next week on Monday. Thank you. All right, next question, Joe McHale from Spokane TV. Go ahead, Joe. Hey, Liam, just curious about um, – the atmosphere, obviously not having the home crowd at Martin Stadium. How much of a difference did that make, and did you miss it tonight? Um, I think Martin Stadium is a special place to play at. You know, I think it's very underrated in the Pac-12. Um, it's just one of the smaller stadiums in the Pac-12. But once we pack it in and, you know, get all the Coug fans, you know, uh, all you guys know what Coug fans are about, and they're all about their football and, you know, sporting other sports, too. They're really, really enthusiastic when it comes to that. Um, so I, what Renard kind of said, you know, I think, you know, during key situations, um, it would have been great to have the fans there. But at the same time, um, when you step in between those lines, it's football. Um, and it, at the end of the day, it's, you know, you're, you're going against – another dude who's athletic and big and, you know, you're, you're just trying to stop them from doing what they do best. So, um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's just football and we got to come back next week. And, uh, you know, it's, it's we know no fans are going to be here in, uh, for any of the games. So we just got to come back and uh, uh, execute next week. And then last for me, it seemed like, you know, everything was working for you guys in the first half. The third quarter uh, seemed a little slow. Uh, what was the difference between that third quarter and in the first two in terms of offensive efficiency? You know, uh, there's a couple of TV timeouts. You know, I, I don't like those personally. Um, kind of throws, throws us off our rhythm. Um, you know, I don't think we we're catching a lot of rhythm in, in the uh, third quarter, and we left our defense out there for a while in the third quarter. Um, and it's tough on our defense, and they did a great job. Um, you know, they can only do so much when, when they're on the field for, for that long, you know. So I think the offense just has to come back, you know, watch our film, um, go we look at what we did wrong, and then come back the next week and try to improve on that. Thanks, Liam. Thank you. All right, Cody from the Evergreen. Hey, Liam, uh, Coach Rolovich kind of talked about Jaden uh, making some strides uh, specifically and in, in playing within the offense a little bit more. Uh, did you notice that from him? And, you know, kind of if so or if not, what did you see from him uh, in terms of improvements from game one to game two? You said Jaden, correct? Yeah. Um, you know, I think a lot of people forget that that kid is a freshman um, and he's only played two games now. Um, and when you have three guys on our offensive line who have played probably 30-plus games, 29-plus um, games, I think it's 29, 
Um, you know, what we, what we try to do is make him feel comfortable. And I think a lot of people just forget that that kid's a freshman. He comes in, he's level-minded, um, and he acts like he's been here before. The, 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 the scene is not too big for him. College football is not big for him. Um, and what he tries to do, you know, I think that was his first time losing in a long, long time, probably a few weeks. I think he said something about that. I don't think in high school they lost that much. So it was tough for him. Um, but in the game, um, you know, all we have to do is, you know, keep our offense going, a good tempo. And um, I thought Jaden made good strides from the first and the second game. And, you know, this is his first big time game of many. Um, I think a lot of people forget about that and that he's a freshman and he's young. So he has a lot more opportunities to um, step up in these big time games and, whether it's with his legs or his arm, but I thought Jaden did a good job there. All right, last one, Rob Jesselson from Spokane TV. Go ahead, Rob. Last questions for Liam Ryan. Hey, Liam, looks like the team was pretty pumped when Lucas Bacon made that touchdown grab. Um, what was it like uh, on the sideline? How cool was it to see him uh, on his first career reception uh, end up in the end zone? You know, win or loss, um, to see a, a walk-on guy come in um, the whole offseason, um, preparing like he's a starter and wants to be a starter, um, you know, just working his butt off, you know. Um, he has, he's, a, he's a character off the field, um, I can say that. But, you know, when he, when he puts in so much work, um, you kind of expect things to happen that way. Um, and congratulations to him. Hopefully, we can keep rolling with him. And, um, you know, when Calvin gets back, he gets back. Um, but I thought it was a good, a good touchdown. I didn't really, uh, at that point, you know, you don't, as an O lineman, you don't really see things until the very end. Um, I just thought he caught the ball and got in. And, you know, you, you kind of look up and you're like, oh, that was Lucas. Or, that was this dude, you know, I and mean, you're kind of celebrating with the old linemen and, you know, trying to get down the field. But, you know, congratulations to Lucas. It's first of many. Um, but, you know, the hard work pays off. That's a, that's a big key in that factor right there.